Hello, welcome to a video where I am going to summarise one of the topics from the criminal psychology section of the OCR A-Level Psychology Component 3 exam paper. Uh, this one is topic 5 on the syllabus, uh, crime prevention. Uh, we've got some broken windows here uh, and uh, I'm going to try and summarise the entire research area, part A, part B and part C, in roughly two minutes. This one's quite a sprawling topic, so we're going to see how it goes. Let's start the timer and see how we get on. OK, so Wilson and Kellin's research was an article based on observations of police officers in New Jersey. Police had been asked to carry out more foot patrols. Although crime hadn't been significantly reduced, residents felt safer in their neighbourhoods and Wilson and Kellin wanted to know why. So it's an article similar to Gould and Sachs, but actually based on some very shorthand observations. Uh, they concluded two things. One, active policing acts as a deterrent. Criminals feel they're under closer surveillance and petty crime doesn't get a chance to escalate to more serious crime. Uh, the second thing they concluded was about the role of the police. They should be maintaining order, be visible and work with communities to inform and enforce informal rules. Things like no drinking on the streets or sitting on porches but not lying down were identified in the areas they were studying. This stops areas from going over the tipping point and turning into areas that are full of crime. Uh, some issues and debates based on this area for the top band, you want to apply these to more than one study, not just Wilson and Kellin. Uh, it's entirely situational. Uh, we can prevent crime by looking at the environment. Uh, however, there might be some also individual reasons that Wilson and Kellin don't cover. There's issues with determinism, it ignores the role of free will. If people want to commit crime, they will, regardless of what you do. Um, it's socially sensitive. Zero tolerance policing in particular has been really criticised as being discriminatory to uh, minority groups. Uh, however, it has been useful. It's been really influential in society as a whole across the last 40 years or 50 years since this study was done. Uh, methodological issues include things like validity, reliability, sample bias and ethnocentrism. Two application ideas for this one. The first one we've already mentioned, zero tolerance policing, crack down on all crimes, no matter how minor. There is some benefits in terms of positive or negative or punishment reinforcement and social learning theory here. So very behaviorist approach. We can also talk about increasing surveillance in areas where there is a high risk of crime, which works by encouraging a cost benefit analysis and therefore acting as a deterrent to potential offenders. You need to be able to describe how both of those things work in psychological terms in a part C question to get uh, a decent batch of marks in your answer. So that's the area as a whole. Uh, two minutes 05 was when uh, I finished talking, although I haven't really finished talking for getting on for three minutes now. If you've got any questions at all uh, about this topic, then please chuck them in the comments below. This is a weird study in the sense of it's not really a study. Uh, it's a series of observations based on a, a small scale piece of research. Um, so it could be quite tricky to get 10 marks out of this in a, in a part A question. The key thing to do is to explain, explain, explain uh, therefores and becauses all over the shop in your answer. Um, that should hopefully mean you get the fine detail in your answer required for a top band response. Thanks very much for watching. Ask if you've got any questions or requests and I will see you again. Cheers.